round the moons of Nibia and round the Antares maelstrom and round perdition's flames before I give him up. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and ding the notification bell to be notified of new videos. All right, so here's all my here's my setup. As you can see, it's just a hodgepodge. So there's the old Frabble HQ 200. I've got my auger, a bunch of stuff. I've got my laptop because uh, I'm going to be trying out my experimental webcam underwater camera, and I'm on a uh, uh, snow sled from Costco, which I just picked up and the old saucer, and yeah, it's uh, like the Beverly Hillbillies out here. But we're gonna give it a try and see how we do. Well, welcome everyone. Uh, so we're all set up here, about to put our line down. Tip up is outside, hopefully you can see that okay. There's the flag is still down. So, this is, should be a bit of a challenge. Um, as we have previously discovered I'm not the most coordinated person in the world so um, yeah so we're gonna do our best now the water clarity is poor well very poor so um, I'm gonna get the uh, underwater camera down the hole just to make sure it actually holds you know keeps the water out and um, and you know can connect to the laptop but uh, I'm not anticipating we're gonna get any footage uh, there's snow all over the ice, so there's not a lot of sunlight down there either. So uh, let's get set up here and get a rod in the water, and we'll go from there. Uh, let me show you what I've got. Very experimental, and I'll probably kick myself and think, why didn't I just buy something? Um, yeah, that's a very good question. Jordan, why didn't you just buy something? But I think sometimes it's the experiment, it's the tinkering that I love. So here in all of its glory is the setup. Um, okay. Okay, so what we have on this reel, we have a USB webcam inside this enclosure. So this is an ABS 3D printed enclosure. It's got a, uh, uh, I think, uh, I don't know, like a Lexan or not Lexan. What's the word? Yeah, Lexan. Anyway, it's got like a plexiglass sort of cover to it and it is uh, silicone sealed. So the whole idea is this reel, and there's uh, the cable, USB cable with an extension, only at about 14 feet, but in this case I'm in six feet of water, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, and then there are two cords to sort of maneuver it. So the whole idea, and a weight to bring it down, because this is so, it's got air in it, so it's kind of buoyant. The only flaw with the system, well, no. The first flaw in the system is that when you turn it on, what I didn't account for is there's two lights on here. There's a red and a green red when it's powered on, green when it's recording, and you can see a bit of a reflection of that in the um, in the video. Uh, but, you know, by and large, and I've got this used um, uh, filament reel that I got from my, that I have from my printer, and so my plan is to lower this down and then power up the, uh, the laptop and get some video of it. So let's start with lowering it into the hole. Okay, so here's the deal we have now the whole idea is to keep that USB out of the freaking snow. Okay. Some days, man. Some days. Being a mad scientist just isn't worth it. So we're gonna try and align the camera to point at our lure. So there it goes into the briny deep. Gotta protect my super secret passcode. All right, so we're on. I'm going to access the camera app. Wow. So we have an image from the briny deep. As you can see, like hopefully you can see that. Uh, I'll try and get some better pictures of it, but it's pretty poor visibility. All right, guys, so I'm just setting up my uh, Predator Pro thermal tip up and uh, I'm bringing out these uh, smelts. So we've opened to Cabela's or Bass Pro Shops where they're selling these things for like a pack. I mean, they're a little bit bigger than these ones, but a pack of, I don't know, 10 for four bucks. So here's a little 
thing I'm, I'm trying. I bought a, a flash frozen pack of like two pounds of these at Teen Tea Supermarket, which is an Asian kind of supermarket in Calgary. Uh, I don't know where, you know, how far they reach if they're in other places, but they're in Calgary for sure. And it was like, I don't know, maybe five bucks. I'll, maybe I'll try and put a, an image of their, uh, of their listing or whatever. For two pounds of these. So I got probably 12 packs of these so that once I divvied them all out. And I hate defrosting an entire tub of minnows when I'm only going to use a few. I kind of went overkill on this first trip just because I'm kind of being optimistic. But, um, you know, even this little pack here, which would have been, you know, one twelfth of that, um, would last me most of the day. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to give those a try. Uh, for the inside thing, I'm going to use this little blade sort of spinner jig thing. Once again, I need to learn my terminology, guys. Um, pretty brutal. I love how the little hooks just love sticking your fingers. All right, and then we're gonna give the Green Hornet a try. See how that does. So, wish us luck. All right, guys, first fish. Hey, a little piker. Oh, easy there, pal. Easy, easy. All right. Oh, we didn't get dressed up for nothing. Nice, very nice. Okay, buddy, hang on. Let's get you free. Let's get you free. All right, so first fish of the uh, ice fishing season. Let's get him back. See you later, pal. fish on whoa on the old green hornet this makes uh well if i get it above the water this will make number two for the oh wow yeah come on buddy come on up say hi whoa and down he goes <laughs> oh good for him he fought he fought to get free so good for him slow afternoon so we've had so grand total we had uh, three fish um, on the line so we lost the first one uh, landed the second one and then the other one got right <laughs> stuck his nose to the hole and then got away from us so um, yeah so I think we're, we're going to tough it out here for another little maybe half hour or so um, maybe it's close to the afternoon bite I'm not sure but uh, it's been a great day good first day to get out I can't believe that the uh, the Action or that the, the uh, fishing camera, the underwater camera is actually working. Now, you probably can't see that very well, but I'll put some footage in the video. It, uh, I've had a number of fish hit there. One thing that I'm really have been struggling with this trip is I've been setting the hook a little bit too early. They're, they're kind of 
it's not like uh, you know summer pike, right? Like they they're kind of a little bit cautious and they come up and give it a little chew and a little nibble. Uh, they don't just hammer it. So um, so lesson to, lesson to be learned. But uh, yeah, so we'll see how that works out. I've, I know I've got those uh, those wind muffs for the camera coming in. So hopefully in the future there'll be less wind noise. And like I said, I learned a bad lesson today is that, you know, I did a full reset on the GoPro. I've got, you know, the good SD card in there, and it still would not record for more than, you know, 45 seconds without shutting off. And um, so frustrating. But uh, we're not spoiled for cameras. We've got a lot of cameras here, so uh, we'll work on that. Anyway, guys, if I uh, catch another fish, I'll turn you, turn you back in. Otherwise, um, thanks for following along today and uh, joining me. I really appreciate your support. Let's get cracking.